Board of Zoning Adjustment to order. The board members present today are Janet Herman, Chairman, Angelia Bills, Vice Chairman, and we hope for Justin Randall uh, to be joining us as a member. The BZA coordinator is Debbie Nesbitt, and staff members are, <clears throat> excuse me, Emily Cowan and Mel Wilson. First, I offer into the record the affidavit of publication pertaining to today's meeting, August 25th, 2021. The board hereby takes official notice of and admits into evidence on the record the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance Chapter 1003, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended, and Chapter 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended. Next, I call for a motion to approve the minutes of the previous BZA meeting of August 11th, 2021. Angelia, we cannot hear you. So moved. Okay, and I will second. The hearing procedure is informal, but is a teleconference and it is recorded. The planning staff will read each request into the record. The petitioner will be unmuted, state their name, and make a brief presentation to the board, explaining the reason and hardship for the requested variance. The board will not consider financial hardships. Board members may ask questions to clarify the facts. And when the board is satisfied with the material presented, the chairperson will then ask if there is anyone in favor or opposition to the request. To indicate you would like to speak, please click the hand next to your name. If any comments were submitted, staff will read them into the record. Before our call for the vote, the petitioner, the petitioner may request a continuance in order to bring in additional documentation. The board may also request a continuance to gather additional information or for a visit to the site. Once comments have been heard, the chairperson will call for a vote. At that time, the discussion has ended and no further discussion is permitted. The board will generally make a decision today. Two members of the board must vote in favor of the petition for it to be approved. If a variance is approved, you have six months to obtain the necessary permits or establish the use requested or the variance will expire. The petitioner or any interested party has the right of appeal to the St. Louis County Circuit Court. This must be done within 30 days of the decision. Paperwork indicating the board's decision will be ma mailed to the petitioner. Madam Chair, would you like to go into closed session or how would you like to proceed with your meeting? Um, well, it doesn't seem like um, Justin is on, is he? No. Okay. I, I think we could. Well, <coughs> let's start the first first two and hopefully he comes on. Or we have we have petition 82-21 Georgia K James Craig Robert Griffin Gloria Hinicki um uh requesting an exception to the side <coughs> and rear yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a retaining wall and fence at 1412 1408 140 Four J Wood Drive and one two four two three Larkwood Drive, maintaining all side yards of zero feet in lieu of eight feet and a rear yard of zero feet in lieu of fifteen feet for one lot as required by the R three residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Let's see. Is Jennifer Welsh available? 
Hi, Jennifer, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Thank you. Actually, Jim Dunachek is going to be giving this presentation. Can you swap me for him? Yes, one moment, please. Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, my name is uh, James Dunachek. Uh, I'm with the Metropolitan St. Louis Sewer District, and uh, we're here on behalf of the four property owners listed on the variance application. And I believe you have a right to represent form signed in the packet that you have received. Uh, what the district is proposing to do here as part of our storm and channel uh, pr overall program is to construct a uh, retaining wall and fence along the rear of these properties in order to alleviate channel erosion and protect uh, property and life of these four parcels, uh, 1404, 1408, 1412 J-Wood, as well as 12423 Larkwood. Uh, these permanent retaining wall and fence structures will be located in permanent easements, which we have already obtained from the four property owners uh, in perpetuity. Uh, the construction would begin as soon as we were able to obtain a permit from the county and would conclude within the next uh, nine months or so. And what would, what would you be using the, the stones uh, or concrete? This would be a modular retaining wall system. Okay. And um, Emily, could we go back to one of the um, those pictures, please? Okay, thank you. So you're talking about on the left side there where it's correct okay. kind of behind that building yeah there's a storage shed there i believe yeah so it would be on top of um that dirt there yes ma'am yes okay and so it would be a benefit for for all those uh homeowners there yes absolutely that's all all four of those property owners have already signed agreements with those with the district to affect the construction and uh, signed easement rights as well. Okay. Uh, uh, Angelia, do you have any questions? I don't know what happened. Oh, I, oh I'm sorry. I said, no, I don't. Oh, I couldn't hear you. Sorry. And um, is, okay. is Justin on yet at all? Emily? No, he hasn't showed up in the attendee list and he's still not in, in the panelists either. Okay. Uh, well, is there anyone that's in favor or opposition to this? Please hit the hand next to your name if you'd like to speak. Nope, doesn't look like anybody. Um, 82-21, I'm gonna vote uh, to approve the variance as advertised. I know it's so, so much a hardship as it would be a, to me, it looks like a great benefit for the homeowners um, to protect their property. Um, and the, and uh, the sewer district already stated that they got easement um, okays. So um, I'm gonna vote to approve. I second it. Okay, your paperwork will be mailed to you, Mr. Dunajic. Great, thank you very much. Okay. Next, we have petition 83-21, Vreeland Properties requests an exception to the parking regulations for the purpose of converting the existing garage to living area which will eliminate the required parking space behind the building line at 9559 Edmond Avenue as required by the non-urban district regulations and section 1003.165 1 the off-street parking and loading requirements of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Mr. Nessler, you are unmuted to give your presentation. 
Hi, yeah. Uh, my name is Ryan Nessler. Um, so the area underneath the basement isn't finished area. Um, it's, it was used as a garage before. Um, we had an occupancy inspection and the inspector told me that they couldn't use it as a garage. So we had to frame it in and put a man door. And when I pulled a permit for it, they told me that I had to get approving from zoning for parking for not enough parking space if we get rid of the so-called garage. Um, the, the, from the house to the street is 25 feet, which I feel like is plenty enough room to park a vehicle. Um, but we're just trying to close that in for the occupancy inspection uh, because the inspector told us we couldn't uh, have that be in a garage. That's why it was dangerous to have it as a garage, is that? To be honest, this has been going on for like six months, and I don't remember his exact reason. It wasn't a garage. Um, but right now, it's inside behind that garage door is the utility, like the furnace, the water heater, stuff like that. It's just an unfinished area. But he told us that it was like a safety hazard to have a garage door there. And also, there's like seven or eight other houses on the street that they already did this to, where they framed in the garage with a man door. How many vehicles do you have? Well, the property is going to be a rental, so um, it's going to be whoever they rent it out to. But it's only a two bedroom house, so they can't have that many people in there. I don't know that area. De Debbie, what are you still on? Emily, is Debbie still on? Yes, yes. I'm here. Oh, so I couldn't hear you. Um, I just was wondering when you went to take pictures, did um, does that street look pretty congested with cars or? Oh, there were cars parked along the street. Um, I think most of the homes do have a smaller garage underneath the house like that. And so um, with it only being a one little one uh, wide car, concrete car pad, it um, makes people park in the street. It is a dead end street too. So there's, you know, limited a number of spaces down there, down there at the end. Okay. No, I don't have any questions. Angelia, was, is that you? Yes, I said I don't have any questions. Okay. Um, is there anyone on this WebEx that is in favor or opposition? Please hit the hand next to your name. I don't see anyone. Okay. Hearing none, 83-21. I vote to approve the uh, variances advertised. The hardship is that uh, using it as a garage is a fire hazard to the home. So that's the hardship is that it's not able to be used as a garage at this time. Okay, I'll second. So your paperwork will be mailed to you, Mr. Nestler. Already, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Um, so we still haven't heard from Justin, right? Right. Okay, well, I, I, uh, I think we need three people. You know, I'd like to have all three of us on for, this, for the next one. And uh, so I think what we're going to have to do is is um, is uh, continue it until the next meeting in two weeks. So okay. that um, I I did go by the property and uh, I would possibly like one or two of the other members to go by also. But I think we need all three members here for that for this. So I'm going to ask to continue it for two weeks. Okay. Angela, is that? Yes, that's fine with me too. Okay. All right. So, um, 
I'm not sure who Jessica Landry, I guess, is on for this. So no. Oh. Um, I I do see her. No, she. I believe she was with the first one. Uh, oh. <laughs> nope, Jennifer well, Welsh. Maybe maybe I believe, ask her. It is Jessica. I believe Miss Landry is with Organic Remedies. Additionally, I believe that their representative is Mr. Timothy Triniki, um, who is also on the call. Um, so I believe that they um, can hear that you moved and seconded to continue this to, to two weeks from now. They did hear me. I believe that they can. Yes, they are both. Okay. They're both I in attendance. Want, I, I just wanted to make sure, but I, I really think we need to have all three members on. So, mm -hmm. so probably be one of the first ones on in two weeks. If, if you're still on. Here. Okay. And I see someone named Amber. No, I'm not going to even pronounce your name correctly. Are you on for some? I'm sorry, I'm the zoning enforcement officer for St. Louis County. Um, I was, I was here to speak on behalf of the 1 that's being moved um, in 2 weeks time. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you guys. We'll, we'll be ending the meeting and we'll. Reconvene in 2 weeks. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye.